Hello guys, um, in this video we are going to continue with our paper 2 revision. We are going to continue with our paper 2 revision. Right? And in this video, we are going to work on question 4. We are going to work on question 4. So we can see here that we are, we are told that below are the assembly diagrams for a floor. Right. Um, let's see if we can. Okay, so we have our question. So we can see that we are told that below are the assembly diagrams for a flow lamp, right? And we are told that the assembly diagrams for a flow lamp are given below. So we can see that we have um, a lamp shade, we have the base, we have the stand. We have the nut, we have the bracket, and then we also have the screw. So we need to use um, our diagram, our assembly diagram, to answer the questions that follows. So even here, this is what I always tell my, my learners, the ones who attend my online extra classes, that in mathematical literacy, you will always be given something to work with. So you will always be given something to work with. And in this case, we are given the assembly diagram. So we'll start with question 4.1.1. And question 4.1.1 says that refer to diagram 4. Refer to diagram 4. So this is diagram 4, right? So the question says that give the direction in which the nut should be turned. So we need to give the direction in which the nut should be turned. And we can see here that the nut needs to be turned. To the left it needs to be turned to the left which is called anti-clockwise so we can say to the left or we can say anti anti-clockwise right and then next we will move to question 4.1.2 so question 4.1.2 says that um, which direction is associated with the instruction john the stand to the base stand to the base. So we need to find um, a diagram that speaks about the base. And if we check here, we can see that diagram 3, we can see that diagram 3 is pointing at the base. And here we are also shown how the base looks like. So our answer will be diagram 3. Okay. And then next, we will move to question 4. Point one point three. So question four point one point three says that the actual height of the floor lamp is one comma five five meters. So the actual height. So by actual, they are referring to in in real life in the real world. In real life, the actual height of the lamp is one comma fifty five meters. So now the question says that determine in centimeters the height of the floor lamp in the diagram if the scale is 1 is to 125. Okay? So that's what we need to determine. That's what we need to determine. Okay? So let's see. Let's see how we can work this out. So firstly we need to firstly we need to understand how to convert from meters to centimeters. So we need to understand how to convert from meters to centimeters. And to convert from meters to centimeters, we simply multiply by by hundred. So if we are converting from meters to centimeters, we simply multiply by we simply multiply by by 100. We simply multiply by 100. So from meters to centimeters, we multiply by 100. So we'll be converting 1,55 meters to centimeters because we are told to determine in centimeters the height. So we will multiply by 100. So we'll come and say, um, 1,55 multiplied by 
100. So it's 1.55 multiplied by 100. And our answer will be 155 centimeters. So this is our actual this is our actual height of the of the flow lamp, right? So now, after finding our actual height of the flow lamp in centimeters, now the question is saying determine the height of the flow lamp in the diagram if the scale is one is to twenty five. So the one that we have here is for in real in real life or in reality, right? In real life. So now we need to find the one on the diagram, and to use the scale. We just come and say 155 centimeters divided by 25. Then we'll be able to find the, the scale. Then we'll be able to find the height, not the scale, the height of the flow lamp in the diagram, here on the diagram. Because the one that we have here is for in reality, in real life. So to find the one, the height on the diagram, we say 155 divide by 25 and the answer will be 6,2 centimeters. Remember it needs to be in centimeters. So it will be 6,2 centimeters. Okay. Um, and those that are going to write maths paper 2, um, just subscribe. Subscribe to the channel and tell me your province and then I will share the link to the paper. Then I will share the link to the paper so just comment down below that subscribe subscribed and then share link so comment subscribed then share link and then i'll be able to share the link or you can just comment subscribed and then you you're commenting subscribed and then you tell me your province and then i will send the link to the paper okay so now we are done with this question and we'll be moving to our next question so our next question Will be question 4.2 which says that um, peter works for a korea company in rustenberg and the company collects packages and in boxes so the company collects packages in boxes so we are told that from different warehouses across the country and delivers them to clients within 48 hours so this company collect collects packages from different warehouses and then delivers them to clients within 48 hours and then we are told that below are the dimensions of a box that must be delivered so we are given our dimensions and then we're also given our box so we'll start with question 4.2.1 which says that define the term volume define the term volume so our volume is how much space something takes up inside so it's volume is how much how much space something takes takes up inside so we can say inside the box for example inside so that's our volume and then next we'll move to question 4.2.2 Next, we'll move to question 4.2.2. And question 4.2.2 says that um, calculate in meter squared. So this is very important, guys. So we are told to calculate in, in meter squared, the volume of the box. And if we check our dimensions, we can see that they are given in, in millimeters. So that basically means that before we calculate our volume, we first need to convert from millimeters to meters. And how do we convert from millimeters to meters? We simply divide by a, a thousand. We simply divide by a thousand. So we'll come to our height and say divide by one thousand. Divide by one thousand. Divide by one thousand. And then our length will be um, 340 divided by a thousand, which will give us 0, 0,34. 0, 0,34 meters and then our width we will say 325 divided by a thousand which will give us zero zero comma three two five and then here we will say 180 divided by a thousand and then our answer will be zero comma one eight 
0.18 meters. Okay, so now we will calculate our volume. And don't forget, guys, um, if you want me to send you the paper of your province, just comment. Sus so firstly, subscribe to the channel. So I'll be able to see if you have subscribed or not. So firstly, subscribe to the channel and then also name your province. Say subscribed and then name your province. And then I will send you the link to the paper. Okay. So our volume will be equals to our length, which is 0, 0,34 multiplied by our width which is 0, 0,325 multiplied by our height which is 0, 0,18 and then if we plug this on our calculator we will get 0, 0,01989 meter cube and that would be our answer and don't forget guys that we do offer online extra classes so if you want to join our online extra classes for next year you can just text the number that you are seeing on the screen and then we will be able to assist you and we are opening on the 4th of january next year and our online extra classes are only 80 runs are only one and so this year it was 80 runs so next year it will be 100 rand per month okay